good morning and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today it is Thursday and today is also the first day of my A-level mock exams. I have like three weeks, what is that? I have about three weeks of um, exams. I mean, I only have six exams, but they span over three weeks. So I thought, why not weekly vlog it? Uh, this is potentially the worst idea I've ever had for a video on my channel because honestly, I'm probably just gonna be a big ball of stress. But I thought it could be an interesting video. I'm gonna split it into two, as in there's gonna be two weekly vlogs. So it's gonna be from Thursday to Wednesday and then again from Thursday to Wednesday and uploaded on the Saturday. So we're gonna see how this goes. Here is my timetable. It's actually really nice. Normally what my school loves to do is shove them all in one week, which means you've got six or seven exams in the space of five days. <laughs> So luckily this time they are spread over three weeks and today I have my first exam like I said. I have my history paper one today which is two and a half hours long. I know it is literally torture. Non-stop writing for two and a half hours. Also mind the fact that my calendar is still 2018 and on December. But um, yeah so really not looking forward to that. I feel kind of prepared but could be more prepared if you know what I mean. And then luckily that is all I have today. I can go home after that exam and then I don't have any exams tomorrow. So first week has been very nice to me. But then next week I have my English paper on the Monday. I've got a biology paper on the Tuesday and then a biology paper on the Friday. So once again, quite spaced out, but both biology papers in one week. And then, um, in the last week I've got my history on the Tuesday and then English on the Wednesday so yeah I thought it'd be an interesting thing to look back on to see how I was during my mock exams and also it's like a trial run for if I want to do a weekly vlog of my like A level exams in the future but yeah anyway I'm about to head off to school in a minute this is what I'm wearing today I've gone for ultimate comfort. I'm not wearing anything uncomfortable today for a two and a half hour exam. So this baggy oversized thing is from ASOS. It's Daisy Street and then I've just got leggings on. And then I'm gonna wear my newest shoe purchase, which is these Converse. And yeah, that is it for today. so I have just got back from sick form I got back about 25 minutes ago actually but I've just been chilling and yeah I had my first exam which actually went surprisingly okay I didn't realize that I knew as much as I did but I feel like you never do until you actually get into the exam if you know what I mean but yeah it was two and a half hours and it felt like such a drag that was the first time that we've actually ever done a proper like a level paper if you know what I mean for history we've only done like shortened versions before but yeah got it done it was okay it definitely wasn't the best work that I've ever written but like I'm happy with how it went anyway so yeah I'm just gonna make myself a bit of lunch now because it's about half past 12 and then I'm also gonna try and film a haul video this uh, afternoon but I'm still waiting on one thing to arrive so I'm hoping that's going to arrive soon so then I can film and get that edited because obviously I've only got a half day today and then I'm going to get on with some revision. Um, so okay so I have just finished eating lunch and while I was also eating it my last parcel came that I was waiting for so now I have everything that I need to fill my haul which is good but also my neighbours have just started having building work which is always my look, because now it's really, really loud. It's actually stopped at the moment, but you can hear it so loudly in my house because it's right next door. So I'm hoping that that dies down a bit before I want to film. So it's starting again now. Can you hear that? I don't know, but that is not convenient when I want to film. But yeah, I'm just going to get ready now, I think, and then get hauling. <laughs> That's really not a phrase but oh. just finished up filming the haul and I just thought I'd quickly show you the aftermath because no one actually realizes how messy filming is. Also look how good the lighting is. <laughs> look at this absolute 
bombshell. <laughs> it literally looks like a bomb has hit my bedroom and I was only trying to show nine or ten items but um yeah just gonna clean up that now and then I think I'm gonna edit that video straight away and just get that sorted so that I don't have to worry about it tomorrow but I actually did that quite quickly which is good. What time is it? Oh it is five to two currently so I should still have some time for revision this evening as okay, well. Okay so it is now nearly quarter to five actually and I have finished editing and uploading my video so I'm gonna get on with some history flashcards now because although my last history um my next history paper is on the 22nd which is my last exam actually I haven't actually finished my revision resources for that one and that's the only one where I haven't so I'm gonna get on with some of those now because I know that I need to make them earlier on because if I make them later on then I won't have time to make them and revise them so yeah I just need to finish my ones for unit three and then make all my ones for unit four so I'm gonna try and get through some of those today I'm doing them on Quizlet though so they shouldn't take me too long but yeah so it is friday today i'm a bit out shot on I? Ah. and it's actually what time is it past two o'clock but i didn't vlog anything this morning so i just went into sick form but i didn't have any exams or anything i just had my normal three lessons and i've just had lunch and i'm gonna get on with some work but i know like i'm gonna get so many questions about the clip that i put in last night which was obviously the clip of me having a bit of a meltdown so i just thought i'd talk quickly about that because i decided to include that clip because i feel like so many people and like study tubers especially kind of skim over that aspect of academics and exams and i had a bit of a meltdown last night and it wasn't about a particular exam, it wasn't about revision, it wasn't really about any mock exam in general. That mock exam, like I said, went fine, so it wasn't about that. I just, I don't know, like sometimes we all feel down and we all don't really know why and pressure and just general everyday life gets to us and that's okay. I get like that quite a lot and you just kind of have to ride with it um like i said it wasn't about anything in particular just overall i wasn't feeling too great last night i was feeling quite down so i cried and i had a bit of a meltdown but you know you can always make things better and that is what i'm doing today i'm gonna sit down and do some work now and yeah i'm just excited for a levels to be over to be honest but what can you do you've just got to move on and get on with it so yeah but i decided to include that because i don't want to sugarcoat these vlogs in any way you know this is a mock exam vlog i often get like this around periods of exams just because of academic pressure i put so much pressure on myself mainly so yeah <laughs> but anyway like i said i'm gonna get on with some history flashcards again now because i've realized how far behind i actually am with that and then i also might do some like reading over my biology textbook for the year 12 stuff because i don't think i'm gonna have time to go through all my flashcards 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 by monday so i'm gonna like read through the textbook i know that's not great revision but i've left it a bit last minute if i'm honest <laughs> I thought I would just update you on where I've got to. It's about half past eight now and I've finished working. I've done three hours of flashcard making today, which is actually really good. I've got through a lot and I feel a lot more on top of the uh, Nazi Germany part of my history A-level, which is the paper two that I do. So I got from, if we look at my, this is like the overview, this is my textbook. Um, I got from here, in that's still module three to all the way it's not facing very well all the way um over where am i now around there so that is a good like 
20 or 30 pages and yeah really happy with that especially to say that yesterday i was quite down in the dumps and i'm just generally very tired but gonna go to bed and i'm gonna probably watch some gavin and stacy because that's what i'm watching at the moment and then i don't really know what my plan is for the weekend yet but hopefully i'm gonna get a lot of work in because i have my english exam on monday and then my biology exam on tuesday i didn't actually do any biology revision this evening like i said i would but i got through a lot of history so all is not lost <laughs> As every ocean come as rain I know my circles, I know my name Another sequel is on the way Oh, oh My love, my love We form and rise to be so It's Saturday today and it's about 10 past 11. I'm about to head off to get my nails done because it is very overdue. That one's broken, they're really grown out. Haven't got them done for about three weeks. So yeah, I'm about to go and get that done. I don't know what color I'm gonna go yet, but I normally just decide when I'm there. But this morning as well, I've already managed to do an hour of work, which was what part of that time lapse was. And I was doing some biology revision for my year 12 content. And what I was trying to do is I was trying to basically make condensed revision notes and kind of wasted half an hour of my time doing it for cell structure which is like the organelles and stuff which I already know and really didn't need to go over again but anyway moved on to more important stuff and I've actually got quite a lot done this is my word document here if it will focus and this is everything that I've done in an hour so I think that is pretty productive if you ask me but yeah I've just got dressed and this is what I'm wearing today not sure what that is um, but yeah, I've just gone super comfy, but I love this coat because it makes you look so much more dressed up than you actually are. I've literally just got uh, some black gym leggings on, I've got my Hollister hoodie and then just this coat and then I'm going to wear my um, Converse and then just my black Fiorelli bag. But do you know what I mean? Like I'm literally just in leggings and a hoodie, but this makes it look like I'm dressier than I am. Anyway, I need to leave now, otherwise I am gonna be late. And I've decided it's snap trap now. <laughs> Hi there, sorry for going a bit MIA this afternoon. I just didn't really have anything that was worth filming, to be honest. I got back from um, getting my nails done at about half past one, actually. I was in there for two hours. It was really busy so it took ages but I've gone for this sort of like dark grey colour. It looks different in different lights but I really like it and yeah then I made myself lunch and I tried to do work this afternoon but honestly nothing was really going in. I just didn't feel very motivated, I wasn't being very productive so I had a nap instead which was what that random clip was. And then I've just had dinner and it's about half past seven now and I think I'm just going to edit this vlog this evening because when I'm in a mood like this there is absolutely no point in me even trying to do work because nothing really goes in and I just need a break to be fair I've been working really hard like the rest of this week for my exams so I'm going to have a night off. I can't really afford to have a night off but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so yeah. Sunday today actually oh that's depressing and it is around half past 10 now I have just done an hour and 15 minutes of work actually I didn't vlog beforehand because I don't really like vlogging early in the morning so I'm always really swollen and my voice is so deep but anyway I've been getting on with some English literature revision because I have my English literature paper one tomorrow so 
that is my Christina Rossetti poetry and Hamlet. So I've just been doing some poetry and this is what I've done. So I've basically gone through my anthology and also previous revision resources and then made this like not a cheat sheet but like summary of all the different poems so there's all 15 of them here and there's like key quotes and then text that goes with it etc but um yeah i'm gonna move on to doing some hamlet now because i also need to do that so i think i'm gonna just read through this york notes textbook that i've got because i don't really know how much i can do <laughs> today like hamlet is a massive play and I don't really know where to start with it. I've done some before, obviously, like I did in my study with me, but I'm just going to read over some stuff in this, I think, that looks important. And then we're actually going out for a carvery for lunch. Me and my family are going out, so yeah, that should be nice. And then I think I'm seeing Alex after that as well, so I only really have this morning to do work, but oh well. <laughs> I have just finished up working I did just over two hours in total which was actually pretty good but by the end of it my concentration was somewhere else but yeah we're just about to head off to go to the carvery now I'm literally wearing exactly the same thing as yesterday except this time I'm wearing jeans instead of leggings so we love that but yeah I'm so excited for this food because I'm starving right now revision makes me really hungry for some reason same with going to school I just I'm always hungry Look at that beauty. Be happy with your <laughs> So we have just got back from the carvery. It was so, so good, but I'm so full now. But I just wanted to quickly show you this. Recently, I was sent this memory foam pillow by a brand called Kiesta. I think that's how you say it. I'm really sorry if I butchered that, but yeah, it's their bamboo memory flake pillow. This video isn't sponsored. They just very kindly sent this pillow to me and I actually tried it out last night and can confirm it is very comfy and i also have a discount code i think it's just discount 20 and it gets you 20 pounds off your purchase if you buy a memory flake pillow they are actually so comfy like look how much my head has just sunk into that yeah oh the lighting is really blue isn't it oh well anyway it is monday today good morning and i actually have an exam today i have a two hour English lit paper one so that's covering poetry and Hamlet like I think I said yesterday anyway but yeah it is about eight o'clock now I'm gonna head into school in a second and then I do actually have lessons this afternoon as well so that's great but um yeah last night not gonna lie I had another little meltdown well I wouldn't say little it was quite big but um yeah my headspace is just not the best at the moment but I thought once again, I would tell you because I don't want to sugarcoat these vlogs in any way. So I'm just praying for these to be over, but I don't really know if it's the marks. It's a bit of a weird situation, but um, yeah, that's my little update for this morning. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like really tired, so I'm still half asleep here. Just opted for a really comfy hoodie from H&M and then my usual jeans from... Uh, Stradivarius on ASOS and then I'm gonna wear my Converse as well. Just super comfy outfit once again. home from school now it's about quarter past four i've been back for like an hour or so but we've had our light bulbs changed where is my light bulb somewhere up there 
and um, so I wasn't allowed in my bedroom so that's fun so I've just been in the kitchen for a while but I'm actually going to get on with some work now I stayed on after my lessons as well and did some biology at school so I've already done a couple hours of going through flashcards which is good because I was going over things that I really don't know too well like the liver and the kidneys stuff that's just gone in lesson but uh, yeah I'm going to get on with some more biology now my English exam earlier went okay but also it was literally the biggest lot of waffle I've ever written in my life like I'm not even exaggerating those essays were pure waffle to be fair I could have prepared a lot better for the exam so I'm not surprised that they weren't a bit mediocre but I'm hoping that what I've written gets marks you know because the rest of it is definitely not gonna get marks I can literally tick off in my head the assessment objectives that I have not fulfilled so that's great but anyway pushing on for biology tomorrow now <laughs> so it is uh, half past five and as you can see I have done an excellent job of vlogging today I didn't vlog this morning before I went to school because I was in a massive rush so I didn't really have the time to sit down and like talk through my day and stuff and then I got home and I was really tired so I had a nap and now here we are it's half past five suddenly but um I actually had a biology exam today I had my biology paper one which is the breadth paper and it went okay I keep saying that for every exam but the thing is with bio oh my god what is going on here <laughs> um but the thing is with biology is I never really know how I've done because I think I've written something logical down but then you look on the mark scheme and it wants something really really specific that I haven't written but um my friend Karis had a look and the grade boundaries are quite low. You only need like 54 out of 100 for a B. So fingers crossed that I get a B. That's what I'm hoping, but you never really know. And obviously I've still got the depth paper to do as well. I haven't really set myself predictions for these mocks as in like grade predictions because I seriously just don't know and I'm not very well prepared, but... I don't know how I'm getting my results either because I would film like um, a mock results opening video but I feel like I'm just going to get them in lessons and not actually like an envelope or anything so yeah but I just thought I'd give you a little update. Also I've decided that I'm going to have the night off tonight just because I don't have any more exams until Friday. My next biology exam is on Friday and I just need a break. <laughs> my mental health is a bit all over the place at the moment and I'm just so tired. Like, as I said, I had a nap when I got home. So I'm just gonna chill and do like admin stuff as well and edit this vlog. So nothing revisiony, but still semi-productive. Anyway, that was the longest clip ever, so. <laughs> I'm gonna Good go. morning, it is, what day is it today? Wednesday today and I have just got ready to go into school. I actually don't have a lesson until like third period but I thought I would go in and do two hours of work beforehand and be productive. I'm gonna make some more of those history flashcards for Weimar Germany because that's what I was gonna do last night even though that's not my next exam but I still need to make the resources for that exam whereas I don't need to make resources for my biology exam so that is the plan for this morning I really did need a break last night because honestly I'm just so tired at the moment and I just needed a break so that was good but I've just got changed and I'm gonna head out now this is what I've got on today I've got this fluffy thing from Hollister on which as you will know if you watch my haul I am absolutely obsessed with it's literally the comfiest and warmest thing I own and then I've just got my jeans on I'm gonna put my converse on and then I have my hoops on as well so yeah that is today's outfit yes. look what arrived today in the post I ordered a wombats t-shirt because I'm actually going to their concert on the 26th of January so really soon and I ordered this to wear and it's actually so nice I mean it is size large but we're working with it anyway i am back home from school now looking a bit of a state because i got absolutely drenched earlier it was torrential rain and of course i managed to get stuck in it for like the two minutes that it was pouring down but yeah i did some history work earlier at school but it was sort of like semi-productive i was with ellie and it was a mix of us doing revision and 
April pool. So questionable how much we got done, but I'm gonna try and do some more of that this evening, but not loads. But I am making good progress with that and I wanna finish those flashcards fairly soon. It's about four o'clock at the moment, so I'm gonna get on with some work now and film a little time lapse of it, but yeah. just gone six o'clock and I've been working for just over an hour now but I thought I would just quickly show you how I've been like planning and writing down how much revision and stuff I'm doing in my bullet journal because it might interest some of you so I thought I'd just stick it at the end of this vlog but basically this is my study tracker here in my bullet journal for January these are videos that I have planned but most of them are gone up anyway so I don't mind you seeing that um, oh yeah, I am vlogging that concert that I just showed you the t-shirt for as well. Just a little side note, so look out for that. But yeah, this is how I plan my revision. I have the hours up there and then I have the dates down this side. And basically I split up all the days into how much I've done in lessons, how much I've put revision I've done at home and then how much I've done during my free periods, as you can see. Because I mentioned in a study with me that I'm trying to work towards the rule of eight. As you can see, most of the time, that's eight hours there. That does not happen, but it's always good to see how much I'm doing. And yeah, these obviously, we haven't got that far yet. We're up to here now, but I just put my exams in as well. But I thought I would just quickly show you that because it's sometimes useful to track how much work you're doing. Because otherwise you just lose track a bit. But yeah. I just wanted to quickly show you that in case any of you were interested. I'm now out of focus. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to be the last clip for this vlog. I'm probably going to end it here because, as I said, this vlog was going to be from Thursday to Wednesday. And then I'm going to start another weekly vlog tomorrow, which is what going to be again from Thursday to Wednesday. Can't get my words out this evening, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. It was a bit all over the place, so I do apologise for that. But nevertheless, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe and follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. Bye, guys. <laughs>